Hey YouTube, what's up? Jigsaw coming to you from Jigsaw's Woodshop. Showing you a CNC Shark Pro Plus. It's currently in the process of scanning a small uh, two and a half by three and a half uh, inch uh, moon. As you can see, the scanner's going along. I've got it set for uh, a step rate of uh, five one thousandths of an inch and a scan velocity of 100 uh, inches per minute. Uh, it's going to take a little while to do the whole thing. But, uh, just giving you a bit of a breakdown on the CNC machine. I purchased from Rockler Tools. Um, I'm in Canada. The machine came from the States. Uh, would I buy it again? No. Would I buy from Rockler again? Absolutely. Uh, since I bought the machine, I've only had it for about two months. Uh, the first probe I had uh, was malfunctioning. Either, I'm not sure if it's due to a hardware issue or an issue that I just didn't know how to use it properly. However, the first probe I had broke uh, pretty much instantly. Um, I played with it a little bit. I talked back and forth through email to Rockler. And they sent me to uh, Next Wave and uh, Automations and uh, so on. Uh, trying to get the probe working. Anyway, I broke the probe. They sent me a new one, which was fantastic. Um, so as you can see, the new probe works fantastic. Works really, really well. Um, However, in the two months I've had it, I've also blown the bearings on the brand new Bosch Colt palm rotor that I purchased with the unit from Rockler Tools. Now, why do you say I wouldn't buy another machine like this? Well, because of the, the rotor, uh, if you buy it for any kind of anything beyond making a few signs for at home, I definitely would not recommend this machine. However, if I was going to do it again, I would purchase from Rockler Tools, but I would buy the Shark Pro Heavy Duty. Uh, they're designed the, the bracket here on the rotor um, has a, a bigger uh, area you can put a larger rotor in, or I'd go with the spindle. Uh, they, they sell both at Rockler Tools. Uh, if you buy the Heavy Duty machine, you have to buy the the rotor somewhere else, but uh, if you buy a heavy duty rotor, uh, you'd probably have better luck. Uh, the machine is phenomenal. Uh, I've done quite a few things with it so far, and um, I, I really enjoy using it. It's very easy to set up, very easy to use. However, like I say, the, the rotor, the Bosch Colt Palm rotor, is just not underpowered for any kind of uh, real use. Um, I was doing a project one day and next thing you know the rotor just started binding and uh, seized up and next thing you know the, the CNC machine is still trying to push the rotor along and the rotor is pretty much stopped. Uh, went up blowing a fuse. Um, I had several difficulties with it to, in that essence. But uh, all in all it's a, a fabulous machine. Um, Rockwood Tools and Service has been pretty good. Um, some of the warranty issues, they say, okay, well, you, you've dealt with us now. Uh, for war warranty issues, you have to go somewhere else, like Next Wave uh, Automation or uh, Vectrix. Uh, Vectrix is the company that makes the software. Next Wave Automation is the company that actually makes the Shark Pro. Um, Rockler sells them for them. But uh, again, uh, in short, I love the machine. The, the T Tracks. Has something to be uh, desired. Uh, I'd prefer to have a, a solid base. Uh, I would have liked to have uh, had a, something a little more secure because uh, sometimes when you're clamping, the clamps will actually pull the tracks out a good an eighth of an inch or so unless you have them set in the right place. Um, so, anyway, that's uh, my first uh, impression of this machine. Uh, they, uh, for, for a small hobby machine, if you're just making two or three signs at home, no problem. If you're making two or three signs a month, no problem. But if you want to use it for any kind of commercial purpose, I'd go with the uh, heavy duty machine. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.